How are you? Oh, I couldn't be better. Couldn't yeah. be better doing um, Chrissy's uh, I'm show. I'm there. Are you going to go? I'm there, Saturday oh, and Sunday. I'm so look- I haven't played to 100 people since the 60s uh, when I started. Apart you know? from that time in Spain. That time is when? The time I was in Spain, we changed venues. We, we had this argument before, didn't we? Oh, we, we? did? Yeah. Well, let's just skip that one now. Let's <laughs> go back to football. I think it was a circus tavern You're going to be a threat like next year? Absolutely. You better believe we are. How but much do you spend so far? We're, we're not, we've not got a lot of money. We don't have a lot of money. But we have. You've got a few quid. But we're coming <laughs> after you. We're coming after you. I want to ask you, mate, seriously. You're meant to be slowing down. You've got tours organised. It's not yeah. stop, eh? No, I, I love it, mate. It's 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 what we do. Brilliant. And I love it, and I can't wait for the next show. You know, it's... The only time it gets me down is when I'm away from the kids for a long time. Yeah. You know, but... And, you know, there's a lot of downtime in this business. When you're in a foreign land, you know, you don't know what to do with yourself during the day. But I'm lucky because I take my model railway stuff with me. Brilliant. And that keeps me going. I was telling the boys, Roy, honestly, God, oh... Remember, I don't know if you remember, Rod. We we came on stage with you, Scotland boys, in Madison Square Garden. What would they be? It was before one of the Euros. It was either before Euro '92 or Euro '96. By Colin Henry on the boat and all the boys, we ended up on stage. It was absolutely magnificent. What a memory! What yeah, a really memory! Was. Well, I was yeah. talking about '82 World Cup. Mm. Alex McLeish has been on earlier, and we we're talking about when we stopped at your house in Spain. Oh, and I had that little bit, tiny little bikini on. Yes. Oh Can my I, God! Yes. Yeah, I've seen pictures of that. I've seen them. Yeah. So, um, what was I going to say? Um, Celtic, new manager, looks like Brendan, happy? Uh, I don't know. For me, it's like, you know, when the, your wife's left you and she's gone off with someone else and she's come back, you know. That's how I feel about it. I mean, but, but forgive and forget. I think he's the right guy for the job now. He's, he loves attacking football and Ange has left him a wonderfully attacking side. Yeah. I'm a little bit disappointed with Ange. I would have thought, because so, every time they beat Rangers, I'd send him a crate of wine. So I'm going to ask for it back now. But I was hoping he would stay and just, you know, lead us into the Champions, Champions League. League, you know. But. Well, by all accounts, his, um, his agents and representatives have been speaking to Spurs for quite a while now. Yeah. And, uh, that's come out, so uh, that doesn't go down to it. But look, I wish him all the best. Me too. And he, I think, from a Celtic point of view, Brendan knows what it's all about. I yeah, was worried about Rangers next season, closing the gap. Yeah. I think Brendan's fully aware that Rangers are improving and he will have the money to improve the Celtic side as well. Yeah, he, yeah, he will. Okay, getting back to Ange, the one thing that upset me, because we, we were at the final, you were at the final, weren't yeah. you? And all this walking about, kissing the shirt and holding yeah. the trophy mm-hmm. up. Why didn't he tell us before? We were never going to lose that game, I don't think, mm. even though it was only 1-0. Well, I went to the semi-final, the support... didn't I? I, didn't do the, I went with you to the semi, I didn't semi, do the final. Didn't do the final. Away, but, yeah. Rod, do you not think, to a certain degree, that would have taken the, the emphasis off the game himself and more on Ange? I can understand why he didn't do it, mate, because he wants his team to focus on the game, he wants everybody to concentrate on the game, whereas if he says something like that, maybe the attention goes off the game and more on him. Uh, if, if I was in his position, I'd be straight up and I'd say, guys, it's been great two years. I've got an offer I can't refuse. I'm going to go down and manage Spurs. We'll win on Saturday and that's it. You know, the treble. Do you think he'll try and take some players as well from Celtic? Well, that would make him make very worse. unpopular mm-hmm. if he tries to take Kyogo. Yeah. You know. I think he should. Or Vickers. <laughs> <laughs> or Vickers at the back, you know. Tottenham desperate for someone at the back, yes. I think. Well, oh. nine o'clock. We'll, is it the same in Scotland? Nine o'clock transfer window? I won't be opening, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah. So we'll soon I, 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 it's vital at Celtic. I mean, clearly, you talk about recruitment and bringing in, but I think it's probably more vital for Celtic they don't lose players this year. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah, that's absolutely. Yeah. Will you get racing next week, Rod? Rod Alaska, you taking a lovely penny? No, mate, I've, uh, I'm off to Cork to do a couple of shows. And, oh, yeah. yeah, I've got some shows. When is it next week? Sorry. The Tuesday starts next Tuesday. Yeah, I, yeah, I won't be able to make it. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. And Where have you uh, been? You're so tan. I was, over, I was, no, I was at LA. We we're looking at some big, big mansion house. I was thinking about it. <laughs> See, <laughs> if I don't get the price, I'm not selling it. You know, I don't really want to sell it. My heart's not. Well, don't sell it. it. Well, yeah. Uh, no, I don't know. Nah, uh, but you love home now, don't you? Here. Yeah, I do. I love being here, especially to be out there today. You can, it's the beautiful, best place the, in the world. Beautiful. It's the best place in the world. Wonderful. But, but Saturday would be great. Oh, yeah. Uh, in Evans, uh, over in Marlow. So that's another lot. I don't know if you know Aunt Marlow. No. Complete angler around there. Beautiful. Yeah, Stunning. It's gorgeous. On the, Thames, On the river, is really, it? Oh, lovely. Lovely. Everybody yeah. goes down the pub afterwards. Imagine. Yeah. There's only 100 guests. All the band, the road crew go to a pub. Brilliant. And it's all free. 
Tremendous. <laughs> you coming? I would love to. <laughs> Down to Mr. Brazil. Oh, I okay, it's not my party. If it was my party, Gabby, you certainly wouldn't be coming. But it's not my party. That's what I've got. Rod, I want to ask you, like, for the gig at Chris's house, do you go and set up, rehearse, and, or is it just you turn up and bang off you go? Yeah, more or less, because we, you know, we don't take years off from touring. It was only like seven weeks ago we was in doing Las Vegas. Yeah. So we don't need a rehearsal. But because it's in a small little tent and I've got, there's 12 of us, 13 of us, six girls and six guys. The girls were the fiddles? Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, Brilliant. They, yeah. They're lovely. Well, I met two of them in Marbella, didn't I? Yeah. Marbella Club, lovely. Really yeah. nice. They're, 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 so we need to go there. We're going to go there at about two o'clock. And just rehearse and see where I'll probably finish up singing in the audience because yeah. the stage is not bigger, much bigger than this table. Mm. You know, you know, it is one point seven million, Chris. Yeah, one point wow. seven million. It's amazing. Yeah, eh? as fat as fun. I can't wait. It's going to be brilliant. <laughs> Anything you want to hear? Uh, all the old stuff. <laughs> all just, yeah. Yeah, get, get me, I only do old stuff. <laughs> get, get, get me gas, gasoline alley, mandolin, mandolin wind. Ah, oh, reason to believe. Oh, right. we, can just, do, we do reason to believe. It's, I love uh, it, love 